G'day people. I thought I'd do a quick video on this bit of gear because uh, I searched everywhere and I couldn't find anything on it online. So um, I thought I'd just run a quick video on the Mackinex Demolition Hammer Trolley and the Hitachi, which has now been renamed Hikoki or Hikoki Demo Hammer. Both of these units have just been unboxed. Uh, that's the box for the uh, demo trolley, and that's the box for the uh, for the demo hammer. So this guy basically comes in a roller box. Pretty cool. We've got wheels on it. It's nice and sturdy. They're not like the metal ones that they used to come in. Um, this is just blow molded plastic. You basically open it up. The unit comes with a, uh, a ballpoint bit and a cutter bit. Um, I'll try and open these up if I can. So there's your cutter. And of course, you've got a, uh, a ballpoint bit, which is uh, that one there. If you're in Australia, expect to pay about 1200 bucks for something like that, uh, unless you can do a bit of a deal. Um, the cocky at the moment, you buy that for 1200 bucks, you get a battery and a charger and a stubby holder valued at about 350 bucks. So that's not a bad deal if you're looking to get other Hitachi stuff. I'm gonna say Hitachi because I don't really like a cocky. Doesn't sound right. Um, Mackinac's tool trolley, some assembly required. You basically got to put your wheels on. You have to screw this piece onto here, or bolt this piece onto here. Comes with a little plate underneath, so you just bolt them down. You have to assemble this piece here, which is your universal holder. So, in the box, um, basically comes with the instructions. Um, so you got Bosch, Hitachi, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, and then your Hilti. So this particular model is universal. It'll fit any machine. So all the bits that you need, that's for your Hilti, and then you've got these little spacers and little bits and bobs, different types of um, of bolts and clamps to suit your different type, your different type of um, machine. So this unit here is straight out of the box. I've taken off the uh, the metal handle, so these guys are. Um, um, locked in with Loctite, so you'll have to use a bit of force to get them off. Once you get them off, basically um, lay the unit down flat, parallel, and um, then sit your uh, your spaces in. Each hole's got different names, Makita, Hilti, Milwaukee, Makita. So they've all got their own sort of level or height adjustment depending on the brand. I went for this unit purely because they've been around for about 40 years and they're just tough. They look tough. Every review I've read on them is really, really good. I've never seen um, any bad things sort of said about them. So the mounting brackets basically go in between where that grab handle is and then these guys just sit on the front just above your... Um, yeah, sort of ramming a bit there. What I did buy on top of the Mackinac trolley, because I've got a lot of tiles I need to lift up, is what they call a tile smasher head. Um, so basically, comes in a box. Um, tile smasher head with blade. Open the box, you'll see something like this. Pop that out, you get something like this. 
Now this guy weighs about five kilos. I've used these before. I've used homemade ones. Um, look, this looks pretty serious, but the ones I've used before, I've actually sheared the heads off. High tensile bolts, any sort of bolt you can think of, it just it just it just rips them apart. But this guy here looks like it's just one big machine block of metal with a replaceable blade if for some reason you happen to um, you happen to wreck it. So along with that comes the rod that's actually coming out of the machine now. So you'll notice that's got Mac and X written on it. Um, upside down, Mac and X. So this guy and if you read your instructions, ensure blade is set to parallel. So there's a little hole here. I'm going to open that right now. So that's tapered. I'm going to set it. Um, I'll set it in there and then I'll just sit it, sit it on the ground parallel. And um, give it a little bash with the hammer to start it off with. And, uh, and then put it back in the machine. So... Um, that's probably the best way. I might even whack it in my uh, record vice there and, and give it a, uh, a nice a nice little hit. Another thing I did buy on top of the machine was a uh, a bit more of a wider blade. These guys are good if you're lifting up, um, you know, a um, little bit of slate or something like that. You just want to get in there a little bit wider than the standard sort of bits. Then. Um, and that's handy but uh, that's uh, that's the basic unit um, that toll smasher head is $280 and this Mackinac trolley you'll pay around 900 bucks so looking at close to two and a half grand for a setup like this you want to be doing some serious tiling um, or some serious demo work to um to warrant having it um i'll be hiring this unit out as well as using it on my big job so um i'll post another video and uh show you how it works um lifting up some tiles so that's